Hello friends, it's Lex at Lex Reads. You can tell that I filmed a few of the things that have gone up recently in the same time because I am not changing my shirt and I'm sorry that I'm being lazy. I bought some books, <laughs> so let's go through them. Um, I, just for the rundown, got three books from Book of the Month last month because I accidentally missed July. Like, I just was not processing and then it was after what you get six or seven days or something to pick a book and I didn't so I got what I would have picked in July and then two books for August but I had a couple credits so I only paid like ten dollars for the three books and then I went to Barnes and Noble and I think I picked up six from there but I might be wrong it might be five yes so we're gonna start with my July book of the month pick I picked up Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia, which I have just finished. I gave it four out of five stars. Um, the video, I read it for the try a chapter tag challenge. Not entirely sure whether or not we consider it a tag or a challenge, I'm not going to lie to you. But either way, I read it for that four out of five stars. If you want to hear more about my feelings or watch me do the experience of reading the first chapter of five books, including Ink in the Blood, Red, White, and Royal Blue, The Loneliest Girl in the Universe, and uh, Infinity Sun by Adam Silvera were the five books. I will link that video down below. It just came out very recently. Then for my August book of the month pick, I picked The Space Between Worlds, which um, I wasn't like absolutely crazy about any of the books this month, but I wanted Mexican Gothic, so I had to pick something. This one is sci-fi. I'm going to read you the back because I think it's fun and it's pretty short. It says, my mother used to say I was born reaching, which is true. She also used to say it would get me killed, which it hasn't. Not yet, anyway. So this, oh, I hit, I hit the truck, sorry. Um, first of all, I think this cover is really fun, which I do like sci-fi. It's not typically my, like, number one genre that I gravitate towards, but I do really enjoy it. Um, so this one is about a young woman who can travel between worlds. So basically they, like, exist in the multiverse, and some people can basically, like, dimension hop is how I'm gonna describe that. And so you can't visit a dimension in which your counter self, so the other version of you, is still alive. And Kara, who is our main character, she is exceptionally good at dying. And so there's like over 300 dimensions in which she's not alive anymore. So she dimension hops. Um, crazy sci-fi adventure. Alrighty, and then for my third my like other bonus book, I got Girl Serpent Thorn, because everyone's been talking about it. So a lot of people have mentioned it in the last few months, and the cover is beautiful, and it's YA, and it sounds kind of fun. So this one we follow a princess who has like poison touch, so anyone she touches, she will poison, and she's basically been locked away her whole life in a tower, you know, we got the standard princess trope, we got princess locked away in a tower. Her brother is getting married. She has to decide whether or not she is willing to step out of the shadows and into the kingdom for really like the first time in her life. When you read the description, it doesn't sound queer, but I'm fairly certain I saw this on TikTok in a like queer book recommendations video. Don't quote me on that because this says a young man. I don't know. I don't I couldn't tell you. Moving on to the, I was right, six books that I purchased from Barnes & Noble, most of which are thrillers. <laughs> so um, I picked up Karen Slaughter's The Good Daughter. Um, it was on sale for $8, which is a steal because I am, oh, I, they covered up the sticker. But because a hardback thrillers are usually, what, like 25 dollars typically? So I'm excited about that. Also, I've had my eye on this one for about six months now. This thriller. So we follow Charlie, aka Charlotte, um, Charlotte and Samantha. When they were little girls, there was a tragedy at their family home. Their mother died. Um, 
jump ahead to when the book takes place, there's been another giant tragedy in the town that she had been, like, lived in at the time. And she's a lawyer now, and she ends up kind of, like, in the center of this crime, this tragic crime. Um, but she ends up in the center, kind of, like, a, in, invested in, ooh, I'm being, the, oh god, I'm a mess. My foot fell asleep, and I was trying to fix it, and I made everything worse. <laughs> she's trying to, to deal with that, and then it kind of, like, brings back the memories and mystery of what had happened when she was a child. Also, it has deckled edges, which, I can hate deckled edges. So, this next one is the book I'm the most excited for for my haul. That is Burn Our Bodies Down by Rory Power. As you may recall, Wilder Girls by Rory Power was one of my favorite books that I've read so far this year. I gush about it all the time because it's stunning and amazing and brilliantly written and I adore it. And this is her newest, you know, her like sophomore <laughs> novel and I'm stoked about it. I don't entirely, entirely know what this one's about because even if you like read the dust jacket, it's not particularly helpful. So we follow this girl named Margot who it says like she has no history. So it's always just been her and her mother and her mother like never told her about before and she has no nothing to cling to of like her family history or any family members aside from her mother. And then she finds this photograph um, and goes to her mother's family home is what I gathered from this. Like I said, I could be a little bit wrong because it's not the most helpful of the dust sleeve things in the world, but Margot soon finds that her mother left for a reason and she's not sure whether or not it was like to protect herself or to protect Margot. Um, I like the, the last little chunk, I'm gonna read it to you. It says, the only thing Margot knows for sure is that there's poison in their family tree and their roots are dug so deeply into, I'm gonna say failing as the town name, that now <laughs> that she's there, she might never escape. Also the back is, and the front, like the covers are beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Cannot wait to dive into that. The next book I picked up is another one that I'm super, super excited for. This is The Hunting Party by Lucy Foley. If you watched my, did I, what video? Did I read it for a video? I don't even remember. I feel like I remember vlogging it. I'll link it down below. I'm fairly certain I read it for a video. Um, oh, you can't see it. It's covered up by my book sleeve. The Guest List, um, which I said may be one of the best whodunits, one of my favorite whodunits that I've ever read. This was her first book, I believe. Nope, it is not. It's not her first book. I don't think. It's a book that she wrote. It's another whodunit. This one follows a group of friends, 30-somethings, who went to Oxford together who um, make this plan to travel to the Scottish Highlands for New Year's and celebrate together. And they arrive on the 30th, and by January 1st, one of them is dead. So, they're all friends. One of them's a murderer. Exactly up my street. Just my cup of tea. I hope I love it just as much as I loved the guest list, because the guest list was phenomenal. Okay, this next one is a debut. This is The Escape Room by Megan Golden. So this one follows a group of young, like, rising stars in Wall Street who have all done some pretty shitty, horrible things to climb the corporate ladder, and they get this invitation to participate in this, like, escape room, group, bonding, leadership, team building kind of thing for an it's an escape room and so they're all like hell yeah and they're all like I'm gonna prove myself and then they go and then they end up trapped in this very real very deadly game of survival where they have to put aside their differences and help each other to get out while the whole time there are big secrets of how they have hurt people and done bad things to get where they are come to light can't wait sounds fun Okay, this next one I've had on my, like, on my list of books to buy for a really long time, for some years and years and years. This is Never World Wake by Marisha Pessel. 
um, in case you don't know what this book is about, I know that it was like a little bit more popular a few years back, but this one is about a group of friends who are going to spend a weekend together after a year after they graduate, so they're like high school friends, and so they get back together, um, they narrowly avoid a car crash, or so they believe they get to this like manor place, mansion place where they're staying or where they were going, and end up being told by this mysterious man that, um, they must unanimously choose one of them to live and the rest of them will die. And then they have this Groundhog Day situation where they have keep reliving the day over and over and over and over again. Um, twists, turns, thrillery, sounds fun. <laughs> and finally we have Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. I've never read any Lisa Jewell, but people, people talk about how great her books are all the time. So this one, we follow um, Laurel Mack, who ten years prior to the book her daughter went missing her daughter Ellie and then cut to when the book takes place she meets this very nice man man right yes meeting Floyd and then he meets Floyd's daughters and the youngest Poppy is the spitting image of Ellie her daughter who had gone missing so this like reopens up all of her questions of like where did her daughter go because this is a cold case and so that's the whole thing and she gets to discover the truth about what happened that night Alrighty y'all, so those are the nine books that I've acquired as of recent. I cannot wait to dig my teeth into these books. I'm really, really, really excited. So yes, that is fun. Um, thank you for hanging out with me. I'm so happy to be back making videos because, you know, took a little hiatus there for a minute. But I'm so, so happy to be back with you all. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books and what you think about them. And I will see you very soon. Goodbye, friends. Mwah.